What's up YouTube? Dan here and welcome to episode 2 of my AC Milan career mode. So we're going to carry on with the transfer window part 2 basically. Then we're going to play the friendlies or I'm going to sim them. And then we're going to go on to the first game of the season and finish the episode with transfer deadline day. So I'm carrying on the tactic to loan out a lot of young players and hopefully buy them next season see how good they do because young players are obviously quite pricey and I don't want to spend all my money just yet. So in the last episode I went for a new goalkeeper that was Mark andre to Stegen so he was quite he's really young obviously 20 years old 80 rated really good potential and he accepted our bid I think it was like 12 million plus Amelia and uh, I offered him a contract which is 35,000 which is not much to pay for such a really good goalkeeper so we're into our first friendly of the new season our first game and it's against Lyon from the French League or Liga 1 they have Brion to Lopez really good players but we managed to beat them 4-0 Niang are really young I think he's 17 years old scored two goals in that game really impressed with him so as you can see there, Sterling didn't want to join and neither did Fisher, but we're gonna, you're going to see that I offered them another loan contract. So I accept Shakri or Shakiri into the team, used him in my Bayern Munich Super League a lot, he was fantastic, just like a covering for Robin when Robin was injured or out of fitness, so I'm really looking forward to use him. Also got a couple of offers for Abiati in this transfer window, firstly from West Ham and the second one from Mallorca. But he didn't move to any of them, even though I wanted to offload him to a new team because he's not going to be playing much as we've got uh, to Stegen this year. So as I said earlier in the episode, we were going for a left winger or a right winger. And I picked between Sterling and Fisher and offered them both a loan offer. If they both accepted, I'd happily accept them into the team because they are on really small wages, only on about 10000 a week to about 30000 so it'd be great if we can get them, but as you can see here, we accept to stay getting into the team. 80 rated, 20 years old, potential of 88, so really fantastic goalkeeper there. So hopefully he doesn't make any mistakes. He, he might take a long time to get into the team or warm into the team. Obviously, as he's come from a German team to an Italian team. As you can see there, has fantastic physical or goalkeeping attributes, sorry. And that's what the team is looking like at the moment. So um, Raheem Sterling rejected the offer I sent um, for a loan offer. And I don't think he's going to play much for Liverpool this year. He's only rated about 69 or 70 or something like that. So into our second friendly now. We're playing against Barcelona and away from home. This is going to be a really tough match. But no, we beat them 2-0. Shakri scoring on his debut, followed by El Shawari. So 2-0 win at Nou Camp. That is absolutely insane. That shows our team is gelling together well this uh, start of the season. So I'm also going for Insigne from Napoli. Really pacey, really good finishing, really young, really good potential. And I went for five percent bonus bonus goal, sorry, and a future fee of ten million. Probably won't buy him in the future, but just to persuade him to join the to join the team, sorry. So into my third friendly now. We're playing another Liga BBVA team, and it's against Osasuna. So maybe carry on the luck we had, and it's two 0 De Jong and Pozzini scoring the goal. So I've played a couple of games in advance, as I've said in the first episode. And Pozzini is absolutely fantastic for just knocking in the goals. Really good poacher, really good finesse shots. And if you tried out Pozzini, or if you're doing an AC Milan career mode like me, just use Pozzini for his finesse shots. They are so good. And he, he scores about nine-tenths of them. So I also offer a, a loan offer to Warbeck, because if you think about it, they've got a lot of good strikers. They've got Rooney, Van Persie as their first choice. They've also got Hernandez, which in my opinion is better than Warbeck. So a 2-0 win here against some team in the Coppa Nationale. Balotelli and Pozzini scoring the goals, so that's another win. We're in really good pre-season form. But as you see here, um, Zapata, who we got on loan from Villarreal, is up for five weeks. So I get off for fourth from Mini, which is going to be followed by a lot more in the future because he's a player that is homesick and he wants to leave in the future. So I'm just going to reject offers for him now because at this point I just really want him to try and try him out because he's quite good. He was really good at Arsenal. I don't know why they saw him either. He was quite. He was a really good playmaker. So. Again, offer here from Gladbach, I think it is, for 14.5 million. I count offer for Nosserino. Yeah, I like Nosserino because of his stamina and he's quite pacey as well. But if I get around 14 to 15 million, I'm definitely going to accept that because there's a lot of players I can get in this position, like Martinho. So into our first game, it's a Serie A game and it's against Sampdoria, hopping for a win here. Sampdoria aren't a tough opposition, but they might trouble us. And uh, it's a hard game. I played my full strength team, as you can see there. But they actually started the better team. We didn't have many chances in the first half. And this is how it all started. Sanson getting past our defenders with some poor defending going on there. And in the 25th minute, he put Sampdoria 1-0 up. So a really fantastic goal there. But I expect better from Ter Stegen there. He might should have saved that. It may be in uh, future years he'll, may, he'll be able to save shots like that. So Balotelli getting past the defenders but hit the post. Really unlucky there. So at this point, I was thinking we can get back in the, into this game. I went attacking. 
And as you see here, full time, we couldn't get the goal back. And that is a really bad start to the league. And it just proves how hard this is going to be this season. Because if we're losing to teams like Sampdoria, there's a lot of work that should be done. So um, I've got an idea of what the team is like now. So I went back to the transfer or back to the board, whatever. And I looked for Abimiang, a really good and normal team, especially. And I don't really have to buy him next season. I can just have him for this season. 79 rated and 23 years old. So. going to speed this up not much happens there is a few mad transfers like Neuer going to Real Madrid in the end as you see there they're in talks but again offer for Ambrosini a veteran for the club not going to fe feature much in my future plan future plans obviously because he is about 35 years old so uh, happy to offload him but that's about it for this episode if you've enjoyed this episode leave a thumbs up and if you enjoy my content uh, subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode